Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Stephen Carroll. And I'm David Cianci. In our first story, North Penn High School added another 981 people who can now call themselves North Penn High School alumni. Thousands gathered in North Penn High School's Crawford Stadium on June 11th as the class of 2015 filed onto the field into the unique Pentagon stage, set up speeches, and included North Penn valedictorian Ellen Shee, who said, quote, We can decide if it's goodbye for now or goodbye forever. We can decide if it's a happy goodbye or a sad goodbye. We can decide if we're ready to forget it all or hang onto it as tightly as we can. The graduates also heard from salutatorian Rudmila Rashid, who urged her classmates to not change the world, but to work to take advantage of what is right in the world. This commencement also marked the last for Principal Burton Hines. After 41 years in education and 13 years as North Penn High School principal, Mr. Hines marked the moment with a special memory. With the help of the MPTV drone, Mr. Hines took a super selfie with the entire class of 2015. School Board President Vincent Sherpensky challenged the class to always dream big, reach for the stars, and achieve greatness. He said, don't forget North Penn will always be a part of you, and you will always be a part of North Penn. North Penn High School sent nine students to the Future Business Leaders of America National Leadership Conference in late June. Two students placed in the top ten in their category in the nation. FBLA advisor Linda Westerland also received recognition as Pennsylvania's Outstanding Advisor of the 2014-2015 year. Over 11,000 people attended the FBLA National Leadership Conference, making it one of the largest to date. North Penn High School has students competing in categories including job interview, economics, computer applications, and launchpad. North Penn High School student Serena Jang competed in the economics category where she was required to complete a knowledge-based test and placed 10th in the nation. Jerry Zhao participated in the computer applications competition and placed first in the nation in this category. Congratulations to Linda Westerlund and all nine North Penn High School students who attended the 2015 FBLA National Leadership Conference. Failure is an option. That's the philosophy of Dr. Mike Wojcik during his annual LEGO Robotics Camp. The LEGO Robotics Camp are a part of the North Penn Community Education Summer Camp programs. Dr. Wojcik encourages students to explore programming, design, research, and development. The only way to find out if something works is to put together a design and test it. Each failure is a step toward success. Forty students participate in both the beginning and advanced camps. At the end of the week, the designers showcase their research, programming, and designs to their parents. Baseball is not only America's favorite pastime, but North Penn's as well. Hundreds of young budding baseball players converged onto the fields of North Penn to enhance their skills. The camp is led by North Penn High School baseball head coach Kevin Monero. Hi, I'm Kevin Monero. I'm the head baseball coach at North Penn High School, and today we are running our annual Junior Knights Summer Baseball Camp here on the grounds of North Penn High School. Junior Knights Baseball Camp every year brings students entering grades 2 through 10 onto the campus here at North Penn High School and gives us an opportunity to bring all of our community baseball players together in one shot and one place and teach them the same fundamentals and the same instruction that we work on here at our high school baseball during our high school baseball season. The kids that we have here are having a great time. We have teams of, uh, divided into 12 different teams. Uh, we have about 180 kids here this year, which is outstanding. It's, it's the only time that kids from all over the communities and townships convene in one place at one time and learn baseball the North Penn way and have a lot of fun along the way. Punt down, go to first. We have our full coaching staff here today in North Penn High School, and we have not only current coaches, we even have former coaches like Bob McCreary, who coached here for 11 years. So the players that are here this week are in very good hands and in getting instruction from a top-notch coaching staff all week long. You can drop it right in front here, okay? That falls a little bit inside. You can find out. I think camp is fun because we get to learn new things from professional players that, like Coach Monero that have really good tips, and so we become much better baseball players. We're here Monday through Friday from 9 to noon for our annual camp. And by the time we get to the end of the week, everybody seems to have learned a lot. They're 
having a lot of fun, and most importantly, they're becoming better baseball players and getting more confidence in playing a great sport and hopefully becoming great leaders and great student athletes that will someday be entering the halls here at North Penn High School. North Penn swimming can put another notch on the goggles and can call themselves Junior Olympic champions. 19 swimmers from the North Penn Aquatic Club traveled to Penn State to compete in the Middle Atlantic Long Course Junior Olympics Championships. In order to compete in these pr prestigious meets, swimmers must be USA registered swimmer and meet the Junior Olympics qualifying times in a U.S. sanctioned swim meet. The North Penn Aquatic Club is a community aquatics program run by the North Penn School District for the children ages 5 through 18. For the first time as a team, the North Penn U.S. swim team captured the overall Middle Atlantic Long Course Junior Olympics Team Championship with a score of 1,431 over the Jersey Wahoos. The boys team also won the championship in the boys division as they dominated the competition with a score of 1,005 over second place Greater Philadelphia Aquatic Club. In addition to the team, accomplishments 14-year-old Claudia Pham set two new Junior Olympic meet records in 100 and 200 meter fly events. 14-year-old Aiden Daly set three new Junior Olympic meet records in the 100, 200, 400 meter freestyle events. The swimmers were not the only ones who walked away with honors. Head coach Aquatic Club coach Jeff Fakish was named Age Group Coach of the Year by his fellow Mid-Atlantic coaches. Congratulations to the members of the North Penn Aquatic Club for winning the Middle Atlantic Long Course Junior Olympics Team Championship. The 2015-2016 school year will be starting before you know it, and there are some very important dates that families need to know. Class schedules and homeroom teacher assignments will be available on Thursday, August 13th at 12 p.m. on the district's Home Access Center. The bus schedule information will also be available at that time. For 7th and 10th graders, orientations will take place on Monday, August 31st at each middle school and North Penn High School. Specific information will be sent to each family. And finally, Tuesday, September 1st will be the first day of school for all students in grades 1 through 12. Kindergarten students will attend orientation at that time. All of this important back-to-school information can be found at the district's website at www.npen.org. As we mentioned earlier, North Penn High School Principal Bert Hines will be retiring at the end of the summer. Today we have with us Mr. Todd Bauer, who has been named the next principal of North Penn High School. Ryan? Thanks, Stephen. Good morning. I'm here talking to Mr. Todd Bauer, the future principal of the North Penn High School. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Ryan. So, we have some questions. What are you most excited for as being principal here? I think in starting in any new position, uh, your first priority should be to meet the people and learn a little bit about what's going on in the organization. So um, while there's a lot of work to be done over the summer, I'm most excited about getting to know the teachers and the students once everyone comes back to school. Yeah, I agree. So how did you end up with this job? Well, my, my career was I, I taught in Upper Moreland for a brief time. Uh, then I taught in mathematics and coached swimming in Souderton. Then I was an assistant principal in Central Bucks. Um, and then this year, I went through three rounds of interviews. Um, ultimately, the last round was presenting in front of 60 to 70 people. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be the successful candidate. Well, we're glad you got the job. Thank you, Ryan. So what's your favorite thing to do in your free time besides you know, teaching and all that? Um, in, in my spare time, I like to spend time with my wife and kids. I have two children. My, my daughter's five. My son, Brady, is two and a half. Um, I like to work out, run, bike, swim, and uh, ski. Cool. So thanks for being with us, Mr. Bauer. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Ryan. It was a pleasure. Let's head over to the Anchors. Hatfield Elementary students will be moving back to their old stomping grounds in September. After a year at Penfield Middle School, students are eager to see their newly renovated building. North Penn Television was on hand on moving day last week. Hi, I'm Christina Hazard and today is moving day. Today 
Today we're packing up everything over at our temporary location, which is at Penfield Middle School. And Hughes Relocation Services is moving us from Penfield to our home here at Hatfield Elementary. Today we're moving everything back here to Hatfield to the teacher's original classrooms and it will stay there until the teachers come back um, at the end of August to unpack. The contractors still have last minute items to attend to, but we will be open for the first day of school, September 1st. I can't wait for everybody to come back and see Hatfield. It has turned out absolutely beautiful. It has far surpassed our expectations. The crews here have been wonderful, and we can't wait to have a fresh start in 2015. It has been one of those summers where the temperature has been soaring and dipping. Meteorologist Shane Goldwyn is to tell us what to expect this week. Shane? Hi everyone, it is hot today and we are in even more scorching weather. For today, there is an excessive heat warning which will make it feel like it is in the triple digits. So if you have to be outside, take it easy and try to get some cover from the sun. And stay hydrated. Today's high will be 90, reach 95 degrees and the low tonight will be only drop to 75. And be on, a, and be on the lookout for a 60% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon. As we look ahead to the five day forecast, it looks, it looks like we'll be having a continuing this heat wave along with lots of sunshine and humidity. Friday's high will be 91, Saturday's high will be 93, Sunday's high will be 91, and Monday's is, is 92. Monday afternoon, our best chance for some rain with 60% chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Enjoy the weekend and try to stay cool and ensure to imply sunscreen when you head outside. Back to you at the desk. That is all for this edition of Mornings. I'm Stephen Carroll. And for the entire middle school television production camp, I'm David Cianci. Thank you for watching and have a great day.